Uh oh. Good evening. Hello, people. Hello, good evening. How are you tonight? I am Herrick. I am. Who? <laughs> yes. I have a headache. I have, I have armpit. A headache. Oh my, I didn't brush my hair. Ooh, <laughs> terrible. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> give me a give me a second no <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I'm back. No pongan música cuando estemos aquí porque eso queda grabado y se ve en YouTube. Y los de YouTube nos van a bloquear el video por derechos de autor. Así, ah, a mí me pasó ya, se los conté el módulo pasado. Por andarles poniendo musiquita para que trabajaran bien galán. No pude subir el video a YouTube por los derechos de autor. Así es que ni modo, hay que ser sin música. Oh my God. I forgot my glasses. Free. Uh, yes, I'm getting old. I'm getting old. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, where is the list? Here is the list. Todavía Mickey, pero ya todo algo borroso. Y yo fui a cotizar qué caros están los lentes. En Fudem, teacher. En Fudem. Sí, tienen buenos aros. Lo único que va en parte subsidiados, entonces es como que tiene aros de buena calidad y uh -huh. lo único que no dan crédito, ¿verdad? No, 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 sí es cierto. Voy a ir a ver porque los lentes, quiero unos lentes así multifocal 
para ver aquí a la distancia, media distancia, para escribir. 180 cada, gracias. 180 solo los lentes. En la joya había 30% de descuento al pagar con una tarjeta. Creo. ¿En la joya? Sí. Creo que con la Pero en la joya de... son caros. Sí. Pero... Así que por mucho que tenga el 30%, siempre son más caros que en Fuden. Sí. sí. No, pero en, en, en Fuden tiene, no es propaganda. Tiene, <risa> le digo porque yo paso buscando opciones de buenos lentes para los empleados. Ah. Y, y el, la opción que tenemos en el trabajo es que se les da descuento de planilla en tres meses, o sea, seis cuotas. Pero ah. si es con las empresas con las que yo he hecho alianzas. Y ahí está Fuden, que da buenos precios, tiene aros originales, porque es otra cosa que, por ejemplo, estos aros me los vendieron por disque originales. Ah. Y no los hombres. Se me zafan a cada rato. Pero lo que voy a es que es que la eh, Fuden tiene buenas opciones de descuento. Y eh, subsidian parte del precio del lente. Así que le sale bien, sale más barato. Ok, sí, es cierto. Voy a ir. Voy a ir a Fudem. <risa> ¿Cuándo, ¿Dónde era lo de la joya? ¿Cu ¿Hasta cuándo? A ver, Jonathan. Hola, hola. <risa> ¿Dónde era lo de la joya? No, ¿hasta sí, cuándo no. iba a ser lo de la joya? No te chulo. Eh, no te chulo, mi hasta, Era hasta el último de julio creo ya casi, de julio, ya pero casi. era con tarjeta de crédito sí yo creo que sí ya, ya, ya les digo con cuál tarjeta de crédito ah pues no me gusta no. <risa> <risa> con tarjeta de crédito no así no quiero no quiero vaya <risa> ok en fin, tipo en, en base a qué les hacen el, de, el, 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 el descuento es una ONG sí, es no, una fundación a... No sé en base a cuánto, es una ONG no gubernamental que supuestamente ayuda a subsidiar parte de los exámenes visuales, cirugías, cosas así. Este, tenía una empleada que tenía estrabismo bastante grande y en Fuden creo que lo cobraron 600 por la cirugía cuando por lo privado se le habían cotizado como en 5 mil. Entonces es como que parte sí. de la ayuda que ellos tienen. Ah, ok. Entonces... No es propaganda, sí. como les digo, pero sí, entre las opciones que he visto, es, es bastante cierto. buena. Sí, porque eso es lo que me temo, porque uno encuentra a veces ofertas, pero están ofreciendo mala calidad, ¿verdad? Sí. Ese es el problema, ¿verdad? Totalmente. Y hoy sí, ya quiero unos buenos, un buen par de lentes. Sí, es. Porque la verdad que re, realmente sí, solo sí para vale leer, solo para leer he ocupado, entonces no... No he necesitado así algo muy complejo. Pero hoy con esto de la compu, sí, porque para leer me sirven unos, pero para la compu sí veo bien, pues, pero ya a veces tengo que forzar más la vista. <coughs> eso no es ver bien, ¿verdad? Pero bueno, <ríe> pero logro ver, eso quiero decir. Ok, people, let's get started tonight um, with the last week so this is the last week for this module four algunas instrucciones que la voy a estar repitiendo así hasta por molestar verdad porque esa es la indicación que nos han dado y es que esta semana tenemos la eh, última encuesta, ¿verdad? La encuesta de satisfacción que se hace todos los, al final de cada módulo para <coughs> evaluar pues todo el proceso, ¿verdad? La vamos a hacer como siempre el viernes. Creo que ustedes van a recibir el enlace para poder acceder al formulario. Uh, lo envían vía correo, lo envían también vía WhatsApp pero se les solicita que no la hagan hasta el viernes que la hagamos todos juntos. ¿Verdad? No hacerla por adelantado, por favor. Porque aunque la hagan por adelantado, que no lo deben de hacer, el viernes la vamos a hacer todos juntos. ¿Ok? 
para evitar algún errorcito de un dato, porque hay varios datos, ¿verdad? Que el, la, el código del curso, que el nombre del curso, que el nombre de la institución que les proporciona el servicio, ¿verdad? Que el nombre del profesor y un montón de datos que eh, las fechas que de repente eh, un, se nos va un, un detallito malo y ya la encuesta no sirve para Insaforto. Y eso pues le genera eh, problemas a la academia, ¿verdad? Y no queremos eso. Para que si son 20 alumnos, pues deben de haber 20 encuestas correctas, ¿verdad? De los alumnos que están registrados. Entonces, eh, el viernes lo vamos a hacer, aunque reciban los enlaces antes, por favor, no tocar. Do not touch. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Vaya, bueno, perfecto. Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. Perfecto. Ok, teacher. Okay. Eh, por otro lado, también... <coughs> Ahora sí que necesitamos el módulo, bueno, todo lo policía, no sé, no he revisado hoy, pero de, de la unidad 4 me habían, me estaban debiendo todavía dos o tres, que no digo quiénes son, pero que los estoy viendo, verdad, que me estaban debiendo todavía el fin de semana eh, la tarea de la unidad 2 y 3. Entonces, con la unidad 4 no nos podemos dar ese lujo. No, porque ya Insafor sale el viernes, viernes. El, el sábado, al más tardar, van a esperar porque ya de ahí el lunes están de vacaciones. Y entonces Insafor de vacaciones no nos va a procesar nada. Ok, necesitamos entregar todo, todos el viernes por la noche. Ya tiene que estar todas las tareas de la unidad 4. Así es que eh, no se me atrasen, por favor. Lo pueden hacer por anticipado, eso no es problema. El examen final también, ¿verdad? Recuerden que si se equivocan lo pueden volver a hacer, si eso no es problema, ¿verdad? Lo pueden volver a hacer. Entonces, sí necesitamos que toda la tarea de la unidad 4, y si tienen algo pendiente, los dos que me deben todavía, que no sé si ya lo completaron. Eh, completarlo es todo. <risas> Pachito estaba el río, dicen. Por allá. <risas> Entonces, estamos, ¿verdad? Esas dos cositas les voy a estar así. Disculparán que se los esté diciendo todos los días, pero así nos han mandado la instrucción. Ok. Y comenzamos con la asistencia de hoy, Ana Lilian Reyes. Presente. Eso, qué ánimo, con feeling. Brian Javier Carmona. Ahí sabe, pero no, no está, pero no está. Entonces le cae falla. Ahí estoy. Ahí estoy, vaya pues, que se oiga. Ok. Eh, Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. Present teacher. Ok, welcome Dinora. We miss you on Friday. Yeah, I miss you too. Ok. Frida Janine Mejía. Present. Ok, welcome. Guillermo Antonio García. Guillermo absent. Eh, Javier Aldair Escobar. Javier, still driving. Oh, ok, good. Welcome. José Arnoldo Mazariego. I'm here, teacher. Okay, don't play music. <laughs> no. Oh, <my> God. <laughs> uh, I know I can't live without music. So I am one that I I miss. I, usually in my in-person classes, I have music all the time. But here we have a problem with YouTube. So I'm sorry. Jose Galileo Barrera. Present teacher. Hey, welcome back, Jose. We miss you Thursday and Friday. Come on, too much. Thank you, me too. Okay. 
So you cannot miss any other class this week, okay? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jose Jonathan Vigil. Present. Hello, welcome back. No, welcome. Thank so you, you haven't missed. <laughs> uh, Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. <laughs> welcome, Rodrigo. Uh, Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present teacher. Welcome. Uh, Laura Carolina Vigil. Present Aha, teacher. Caroline, where were you oh. on Friday? I'm sorry, teacher. No ah. puedo estar. <laughs> Aha, party, ¿verdad? Okay. <laughs> María Concepción yeah. Cerón. Yes. Present teacher. Ah, lo reconoce, ¿ah? Okay, welcome. María Ivania Palma. Ivania Palma. I don't respond. Absent. Present teacher. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Is here Present. Mauricio today? Present teacher. Ah, okay. Good to see you, Mauricio. Good to see you. Mayra Veralice Moreno. Uh -huh. Mayra. Where were you on Friday, Mayra? Lo siento. No pude entrar. No pude. Mm, ese no pude es. Mm. Zaira Marleni Larín. Present teacher. Okay, Zaira. Welcome. Eh, Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Welcome. Jacqueline okay. Gloribel Rivas. Present teacher. Welcome. Eh, Karen Vanessa Moratalla. Present. Hello. Hello. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Orellana. Present. Okay, welcome Mauricio. Eh, Rocío Lourdes Pimentel. Present teacher. Perfect. Welcome. Okay, people. Tonight, we uh, have some uh, students uh, pendant with their presentation. Okay. Or their story about um, a vacation, a trip, or any experience that you had in the past. Okay. A ver, si me recuerdo quiénes ya nos habían contado la historia. Recuerdo que fue Frida. ¿Quién más fue? Arnoldo. Mi teacher. Ah, ah. Concepción. Mi también. Me. Ajá, ajá. ¿Quién dijo mi? Mi, Mauricio, Mauricio Rivera. Ah, sí, sí, Mauricio. Mauricio Rivera. Me too. Rocío. Yes. Ok. Brian dice yo, dice Brian. Do you remember Brian? Ah, hmm, dos minutos te van a tocar, Brian. No, hombre, solo uno. Ah, como, el, como el árbitro cuando le querés enganchar ahí con las faltas. Tarjeta María. Ok. Ok. So, who wants to start? Volunteer. Volunteer to start with the story. Me, teacher. Excellent. Ana Lilian, con todos los poderes. Okay, we're ready to hear your story. Permítame aquí. Compartir. No sé si lo están viendo. Yes, very good. Okay. Um, my trip to the beach. Sunday, February 21, 2021. I went with my mother and my son to Las Tunas Beach. We, we left at 7 in the morning. We arrived at 
nighting, we boat on beach clothes. We walk walk it along the beach. A twelve. We at the uh, seven. Rather the then I minute I on my mother to a uh, fan. I didn't because I don't like to the to the bathing in the sink. When I go along, I like to walk watching the guavis being in the hammock. I was a very nice treat. I enjoy enjoy it with the two people I love the most. We return about 14 o'clock. Uh, we speak the afternoon, 18 pupusas on the last season. I went to live in my mother uh, at her house and, the, and then I come to me. Uh, my husband was no because he was working, but I didn't have phone looking uh, or phone because or some was happy. I was the first time I have gone to the beach and this is all I can tell about the, the street. Ah, okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, Las Tunas is one of the more yeah. beautiful beaches in El Salvador, right? So, la Las... única que conozco, teach. <laughs> no, you don't know El Cuco. Don't tell me you don't know El Cuco. No, no. solo El Tunas. <laughs> El Cuco is beautiful, okay, very flat, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Lillian, nice story, nice experience. Okay, very good. Now you, Lillian, pass the ball to another student. You choose the next okay. victim, I mean, the next volunteer. <laughs> Ojo a alguien, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh, yes. Vamos a ver. Al que dijo que había pasado a Brian. Uh, ya ve, Brian, ya ve. Exitazo total. <risa> Qué amable, Dalí. <risa> ok, Siempre. Brian. ¿Are you going to share a, a slide or not? Yes, yes. Excelente. Yeah. El mío es del Mágico González. Ah. Uh. In 2018, when my friend uh, was playing soccer late to 4 p.m., we received an invitation to play soccer with the Magic González. It's uh, in the Magic Stadium González and his colleague. That was a great surprise and great emotion. Of course, everyone knew that we were not going to win the football game. <laughs> <laughs> but the emotion was more important. Uh, next week, we arrived together to Magic Gonzalez deciding on a car. Between Laos and Jaikes, we enjoy every moment. We began playing soccer afternoon and enjoy watching the Magic Gonzalez. That day, that day we last three and uh, two, but it's a very beautiful day to always remember. 
Oh, excellent. Did you take pictures? Yes, this year. <laughs> oh, come on, show a picture no of you. <laughs> no las tengo en el, aquí en el teléfono, no, sino que está en otro, en otra carpeta de ahí. Ajá, ajá. Okay, we are going to believe your story. Excellent. Thank you, Brian. Very good. Now you choose the next participant. Se, se encuentra por ahí Mayra. Mayra, are you here, Mayra? Éxito. Otro exitazo total. Look, why you just say present and then go? Teacher, sí estoy, pero ahorita lo estaba haciendo porque como no entra el viernes, va, no sabía. Ah, uh, your classmates didn't tell you. Your co-workers didn't es que como tell no you. Trabajar, no los he visto. Ah, oh. Teacher, teacher, so teacher. Yo no, yo no, compañeros. Ajá, teacher, ajá, que... Mauricio, tell us. La cuestión es que ahora como se celebra la fiesta de Santa Ana, entonces los jefes no van a trabajar este día, solo nosotros los empleados. Lo voy a terminar y ya lo voy a decir. And what happened with that? Bienvenido with B. Uh, is that true in Santa Ana? Esa fue una cooperativa la que se pasó en nosotros. Ya lo quitaron, teacher. Ya la quitaron. Ah, ah ok. Pero dije. Yo lo mandé a quitar. Was, that was terrible. <laughs> ok, so someone else, Brian. Arnoldo. Well, ok. Muy, a, muy amable, Brian, muy amable. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Exitazo. Okay, my my last vacation was in 2020, a week before closing due to the pandemic. Mm. My family and I went for three days to El Tunco Beach and we stayed in Tortuga Village in a cabin on the way back from the trip. We passed by the Malecon and had a delicious seafood lunch. My daughters didn't know the beach at night and they we're very excited the last night we didn't not sleep in the hotel because we stayed on the shore of the beach until we saw the sunrise really wow that's nice i don't have pictures don't have pictures come on that's the the si tengo see i i have pictures but i have the homework in this moment Mauricio, don't tell me we, we have a uh, homework. I... Ah, you know why, why Arnoldo? Why Friday, that happened to you? Friday, I... <laughs> Friday, I am sick. You remember? And oh, I yes. Ah, out okay. At 9, 30 p.m. Friday, Thursday, Wednesday... Wednesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Monday. Monday. Hey, yeah. come on. You're leaving but, too early. But Friday is, is for a sick. Other days, I have a... Uh, I told about you with my business. Um, ah, but you told me just Fridays, but okay. Okay. No, the, <laughs> sorry. Okay, thank you, Arnold. Uh, now, choose the next victim, I mean, volunteer. Um, Saira. Saira. Okay. Go ahead, Saira. Okay, now, from now on, pay attention because I'm going to ask questions to all of you about what Saira said, okay? I'm going to ask questions to you. Okay, go ahead, Saira. A family adventure. In December 2010, teacher, es porque esa es la que más me, me, me gustó de todos los viajes. 
Perfect, I know. In December 2010, my family and I went to see the El Pinabet Cabins in Chalatenango. We wanted to leave the capital for at least that weekend. We made that trip, which was a very interesting adventure. It was a very cool time. We met uh, a Nervi River, which is the border of El Salvador with Honduras. But it was very frozen that we could not enjoy it well. But the place was magical. We climbed a mountain that has many pin trees and, and very curious. They had a white dog that beautiful walk. In that place, they have typical food and just do remember I want a vacation to return again. Family and returned very happy thinking that the that we will return very soon and do it to the ties that the that we all know happened in 2020 2020 we have not been able to return but we did that trip that return Turn it up beautiful. Okay. okay, very good, very good. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh, people, where did Saira and her family go to? Chalatenango. Chalatenango, yes. Where in Chalatenango? Tinabet. Ah, excellent, yes. Uh, when did they go to that place? 2010. When? 2010. Um, in 2010, yes. In, in 2010. December 2010. In December 2010. Yeah, perfect. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Shaira. Pass the ball, please. In... Jose Rodrigo? Okay, Rodrigo. Okay. My trip to Cerro El Pital. In 2015, while my family, we went to El Pital Hill, local in the department of Chalatenango. We were renting a cabin. In the cabin was not electricity, television, or internet. We were renting a 4 x four vehicle to get to the place. The road was very bumpy and we got lost. We had pupusas for dining and breakfast. We prepared a typical breakfast. For lunch, we roasted meat. And the food was delicious and it was a very pleasant trip while my wife, daughter, and son. Okay, excellent, very good. Uh, where did Rodrigo go? El Pital. Cerro El Pital. El Pital. Cerro El Pital. When did he go there? Oh, did, didn't you hear? Repeat the, the question. When did he go there? In 2015, I think. Yes, you're right. Are we right, Rodrigo? It, it was 2015? Yeah, 2015. Ah, okay, yeah, 2015. Perfect. Okay, thank you very much, Rodrigo. Please choose the next one. Laura? Okay. Uh, trick to Guatemala and Antigua. My last, my last vacation were last April. I go to know Guatemala City in Antigua. In Guatemala City, I went to the Aurora Zoo. And 
I toured Guatemala City and visited Paseo Cayala. Mm -hmm. Then we traveled to Antigua. Uh, my family and, uh, and I stayed in stayed at Hotel Soleil in Antigua, Guatemala. We stayed uh, for two, day, two days. Yes, I finished. <laughs> Okay, yeah, congratulations. Okay. And Laura wasn't in class on Friday. Eh, lo, lo hice en este momento, rec remember, <laughs> recordando, teacher. <laughs> yeah, very good, okay. very good. Okay, where did uh, Laura go? Uh huh. Antigua, Guatemala, and Guatemala City, I think. Okay, yes. And what what places did she visit in, in Guatemala City? Cayala. Cayala. Aurora Zoo. And it's very uh, beautiful. Uh, Aurora so, Zoo. So lay hotel. I visited. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, but that is in Antigua. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when did she go? On April. In April, yes, in April. Perfect. Very good. I have been to Guatemala several times, but lately I haven't been able to go to the zoo. I need to go to the zoo. Okay, thank you very much, Laura. Choose the next participant, please. Mm -hmm. Uh, Karen Vanessa. Karen Vanessa. Very good. Ah, sí. <laughs> me escucha. Yes, Karen, I can hear you. Clear and sound. Okay. Uh, ¿Puedo compartir? Sure. Go okay. ahead. Okay, ya está compartiendo. <laughs> Perdón yes. que me conecté de la compu. Oh, Honduras. Yes. Other level. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> okay. okay. And my trip to Honduras. The last trip I made outside the country was in 2019. And I went to a town in Honduras. The name is Valle de Angel. I went with a delegation from my scout troop. The trip lasted seven days. We arrived at night and obviously we met many Hondurans. And to my surprise, we also met an Italian guy. Hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? And just in this year, I was studying Italian and I was able to practice with, the, with him. Mm -hmm. We spoke a lot and he also practiced his Spanish with me. And another thing that surprised me is that the small common store in El Salvador, in Honduras, called it the Pulperias. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and that was very strange for me, but I didn't match. Pulperías is a de venta en licuado. Tiendas. Las pulperías son las tiendas. Yes. Sí, pero yo pensaba que las, pulper las pulperías eran donde vendían jugos. <laughs> <laughs> and that was very strange for me. And on the second night in Honduras, we went to the town square. Uh, we ate baleadas and I liked them. I fell in love with them so much that I bought five more for the white bag. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and I eat all in the in the bag. Oh, wow. Okay. Did you eat rosquillas? No. No? Oh, no. come on. They sell rosquillas everywhere in the pulperias. I... Uh -huh. No, I ate baleadas, eh, ya. Tajadas con plátano, tajadas con, con pollo. Ay, por you todos know, lados. 
y eso. No me daban nada, no me lo daban con, con tajaditas de plátano. No me daban pan, sin grasos. Yo quería acordar. I went to San Pedro Sula and they take me, they took me to eat pollo chuco. Yeah, that's the name, but it's really delicious. Pollo chuco and rice and beans. Pollo chuco, yeah, it's delicious. Okay, thank you very much, Karen. Um, okay, can you stop sharing, please? Thank you. Okay. What is the name of the place where Karen went? Valle del Ángel. Valle del Ángel. And um, Karen, how do you say kiss in Italian? <laughs> Didn't you learn that? No. <laughs> no, oh, come on. You should have asked. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Karen. Choose the next one. Um, Galileo. Okay, Galileo. No sé si ya está listo porque no estuvo el viernes. Uh, um, voy a improvisar. Okay. Okay. No va a pasar, Wendy. Oh, muchas gracias, Karen. <laughs> okay. I know, I know Galileo can do it, no problem. Okay, uh, my trip is to Quito, Ecuador. Uh, it was my first uh, uh, time when I did far away from my beautiful country. Uh, in two, 2010, I went to Quito, Ecuador. And I was working there for one week. And I remember that because I was sick for anxiety. And I, I guess in, 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 this, in that moment, I did sick of anxiety. 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 Oh. So uh, I don't like flying in, in aircraft. Mm. And when I was flying, uh, one person uh, sit down next to me and she started to speak 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 and speak and I I was with anxiety uh -huh. and I just only to be quiet but uh, that person did speak a lot. Oh, well, when I arrived to Quito, when I arrived to Quito, I felt a lot of peace. Mm -hmm. I hate fly in aircraft, I am marine. No, no. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Uh, I, like, I like the bots, the Coast Guard, and whatever. Uh, uh, ship. Uh, ship, exactly. But uh. I, had, I hate flight. So uh. I was in Quito for, for one week. Uh, I was working uh, I um, I I didn't know one beautiful place called uh, middle world la mitad del mundo I heard of stories about those we places we can put uh, may I share one picture 
Sure, sure. Okay. Here is, here is the middle war in Quito, Ecuador. Mm -hmm. They, they were my partners in, in that, that moment. Uh, different countries was, uh, was present in this uh, meeting. Here I am when I didn't have a lot of belly right, like now. <laughs> uh, this is the, the, the middle of the world. Middle world. In my, in this leg, in the, in the soup is one feet and the north is the other feet. Right there. Yeah. Is the division of the the world. So okay. the Ecuador. In Ecuador, right, right there. So uh, I enjoyed this trip, uh, but was my first time when I went far away my country. Okay, very interesting. Yeah. That is all I can improvisar. I don't remember what I improvise. 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 Yeah. That is all I can improvise, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> and Galileo, who? sorry. Uh, uh, one tip uh, or a tip for charging by plane is to buy headphones to, so that the, the the other person doesn't talk a lot. I'm ah, sorry, okay. uh, Frida, I can't understand you. Please repeat me. Eh, cuando usted viaja, siempre lleve audífonos, porque así el de la par no le habla. Ah, okay, thank you. <laughs> really, thanks. <laughs> nice tip, nice tip. Thank you. Okay, and... Can you tell us about, um, I wanna ask, ask you, wow, what, what is something interesting that you ate in, in Ecuador? Uh, I don't remember, I just remember that we went, every time when I went to whatever country from Mexico to Chile, we ever uh, look at for for typical food, mm -hmm. but I don't remember. You don't remember it. in Ecuador. Ah, okay. No, I don't remember. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you very much, Galileo. It's interesting. Okay, choose the next one, Galileo. Mayra. Aha, Mayra, it's time. Hoy sí ya terminé. <laughs> <laughs> no me tiene paciencia, Bio. <laughs> Yo no fui. <laughs> sí, mejor, teacher. teacher, guarda silencio, mejor. Teacher. Aha, no. Para Karen, bacio. Beso en, en italiano. Bacio. Oh, bacio. <laughs> ya, ya googleamos ahí. Muy, 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 muy divertido el italiano. Seguimos hablando, seguimos hablando. Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Myra. My tip, Guatemala City. That's igual que la otra. Sunday, um, bueno, January 20, 20, Mm, 20, 20, uh, no, lo voy a decir. Uh -huh. no. <laughs> I went to a restaurant called Grizzly for breakfast, and then the the su called La Aurora. If I wanted a lot because I saw many animals, 
and welcome for the Oakland Shopping Center for lunch. And I saw a super large fish. And then I continue along the Kayala, walk and, ba um, and bought some donuts, super delicious, are called Dunkin Donuts. I took um, many first and I have very good memories. Ah, okay, very good. And when did you go to Guatemala? January. Um, well, see, sí, um, no me acuerdo si fue 2020, quiero ver, antes de la pandemia, quiero ver, uh, 2021, quiero este 2020. Uh -huh. January 2020. 2020, uh -huh. ah. antes, antes de la pandemia, antes, yes. antes. <laughs> right mm. before the pandemic, okay, very good. Thank you, Myra. Thank you for sharing. Choose the next one, please. Mm, quiero ver. Mm. A Jonathan. Está por ahí. Must be. No está, no está. Sí, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> ok. Ok, um, in January 2005, I traveled to Panama City to participate in a television show. Oh. I was around 20 years old. It was my second time out of the country. Um, the day of the fly, I was so excited and nervous because it was my first time traveling by plane. I was so I was also sad because it was the first time away from my family, but I am so excited. I left from the Salvador Airport to Nicaragua to make a stopover. Then the plane left for Panama. The flight lasted almost two hours, arriving at around six p.m. at the in night pan in, in Panama City. Um, in this trip, I had the opportunity to visit um, El Canal de Panama, um, Panama La Vieja, uh, this, the old city of Panama, um, La Calzada de Amador, and Colón. But uh, what surprised me was the city for the buildings. Um, the television show was called El Familion. Okay, very interesting. You know, uh, the first time I went to Panama, I went by bus. Yeah, it was crazy. Well, no, well, the when I was going. It was nice because we stopped in Nicaragua. We visited a friend one day. The next day we stopped at uh, Costa Rica. We spent time with another friend and then Panama. But the way back, it was one trip, 42 hours by really? bus. 42 hours non-stop non-stop was crazy it was really crazy okay thank you very much jonathan choose the next one thank you um jacqueline okay jacqueline perfect Let's see. Okay. My trip to the beach in El Salvador. In July 2019, I went to the beach El Tunco. 
with my friends. We enjoyed the atmosphere and best ways in the world. We stayed at the Tunco Lodge for the weekend. The room had an amazing view and the hotel facilities were very beautiful. We watched the sunset. We talked about our lives on side the university between Laure and Lauter. We passed the time. A beautiful night was anticipated with a clear moon and a sky full of stars. We went to dinner at a restaurant in the area. Everything was delicious. After dinner, we went for a walk on the beach. We went to a discotheque with good music and a bohemian atmosphere. We went to dance on the floor. We returned to our rooms at 2 a.m. On Sunday, we made the checkup at 3 p.m. It was the best vacation of that year. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, El Tunco is, is nice. It's nice. Okay. Um, no, no. Let's continue quickly. Thank you very much, Jacqueline. I have been on the Tunco at night too. It's beautiful. A nice atmosphere, a lot of parties and discos and everything. Okay, Jacqueline, who's next? Mauricio Antonio Orellano. Okay, Mauricio. Okay. My wife and I went camping in 2018 to a mountain located in Sinquera. Every year we go camping, but in 2018, it was the first time we were in the place. The interesting thing about it is that the guerrilla used is a hospital. The name of the camp is Campamento Cascabel. The walk was very long. We arrived very tired. We set up the camping tents and then we cooked. It. The next day we went to a very beautiful river. And in the afternoon, we come down from the mountain. We visited the tomb of Sinquera. That was a nice weekend, and we were delighted with the place. We will possibly visit him again in December of this year. Oh, interesting. Different way. And, and where is Sinquera, Mauricio? What department? Mm, near uh, Puscatlan. Near, oh, I thought it was in the western. No, western, not the eastern part. I thought it was in the east. Creí que estaba en Oriente. No. But no, oh, okay. Very good. Nice. Different way. I'm too old for camping now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did it when I was young, but now, mm -mm, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Mauricio. Choose the next one, please. We have. Uh, mm -hmm. Dinora, no sé si la preparó. O... But Dinora can improvise. I know she can. Okay. Hi. Hi, Dinora. How are you? Hi. Okay. Uh, my uh, last vacation. Well, we, I can only, to... we can only see your ceiling. Okay. Okay, that's a little bit better. Tell us. 
My last vacation, I went to the beach with my family and with my parents and my brother, my niece. And I went to Costa del Sol, a little ranch. We rented and I don't know, the weather wasn't great because uh, it rained. When, when did when did you go? Costa del Sol. When? Um. Last year? No, last year. No, right? Or oh, yes. This weekend. Oh, this weekend. <laughs> ah, okay. It was good. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, from Saturday to Sunday. Ah, okay, okay. Um, yeah, in all night, it, it was raining, but we ate so delicious. Ah, uh -huh. okay, very good. Thank you, Dinona. Thank you. Costa del Sol is beautiful as well. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, we have some students mm. left. Choose the next one. We have um. Javier. We have who? Catherine, Ivania, Wendy, and that's it. Wendy. Okay, Wendy. <laughs> Okay. Um, Ven algo. No. Not yet. Pero veo que, uh, ahí Not está. Yet. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Call the bed calling. The brew. <laughs> My father won a night in a cabin in Call the Bed restaurant. Went my father, my mother, and my uncle and I. We arrived at 5 p.m. and ate chocolate and pupusas. We sleep in a cabin. The cabin was very pretty place, but it was very cold all night. And in the cabin next to our cabin was a couple who Talk, talked a lot of that I sleep later, a little. <laughs> <laughs> In the morning, ate coffee and pupusas. In the place there, we, I'm sorry. There were many. Where? <laughs> yes, ah. there were many plants and flowers. We went to walk and found an empty nest. We keep it a souvenir. I swum, swum on a come com up <laughs> and we took many photos, pictures. Uh -huh. For the lunch, ate roast beef and roast chicken. And finally, for the for the afternoon, we drank coffee and ate sweet bread. Ah, okay, very good. And where is that place? Los Naranjos. In Los Naranjos. Yes. Oh, call the pet. When did you go? Um, 
I don't remember uh, 2015 or 16. Ah, okay. I remember I won a stay in Termales de Santa Teresa. Really? Yes, I won a romantic night in Termales de Santa Teresa. And it was oh. perfect because I won that for my 25th anniversary. Yeah, it was beautiful. Bless. Yeah, I, the Lord gave me that present, that gift. So we went there for free with my wife to celebrate our 25th anniversary. It was good. Okay, and thank God the couple next to your cabin was just talking. That is good. They were just talking, huh? Speaking. <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Wendy. Who's next? We have still pending. Um, who? Javier? Ivania? Ivania. Okay, Ivania. Here, teacher. Okay. Tell us your story. Okay. Uh, my trip to Guatemala in May 20, 2015. I went with my Powonka to uh, visit Guatemala for the celebration of the Aconta Day. Uh -huh. We time out to other country. Uh -huh. We went out to 4 a.m. And arrived to 9 a.m. We visited the zoological. The zoo. The zoo. I was surprised to see the giraffe, mm -hmm. the penguins, um, among, other, among other animals. Uh, the, we went to the city of Guatemala, um, ate pizza cookies in a uh, one over. Look, look clean and safe. Uh, the water is cool. I had a lot of fun. Ah, okay, okay, very good. Do you hear when did she go to Guatemala? Uh, People? Nah, you were not paying attention. <laughs> I heard she went in May 2015. Is that right? Uh, night, uh, 9 a.m. No, May 2015? Uh, Did you say May 2015? Yes. Ah, okay. Celebrating? Uh, yes. Accountant day. day. Accountant day, yes. Accountant, Accountant day. day. Okay, very good. And next would be, who would be next? Ivania? We have Catherine and Javier. Oh, Javier. Okay, Javier, it's your turn. Okay, I know the presentation, but in, in my last vacation, I remember that I spent time with my family. We took a trip to Mexico, I think, it was for the year 2018. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we took a flight to Mexico and it was a beautiful and also terrify or turf, como se dice, terrorífico. Terrorific. Um, and terrorific experience sign I had never gotten on a plane. Uh, 
we were con or fear an arrivate in Mex in Mexico, which was beautiful. We like the food, this tradition, and it's beautiful beaches or playas, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Uh, we stayed in a hotel in Cancun for a week and had many experiences with the family. Wow, Cancun, very nice. Must be, okay. Mexico. Why, why say the terrorific? What's <laughs> terrorific? I don't understand. Uh, terrorific. Uh, because uh, um, were you afraid? Are you with plane? No. To fly, to fly in a plane. Es que fue, esa fue la primera vez. Nunca había volado. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the first times are always scary or exciting, scary. depending. So, what do you want? Okay, for me, it was exciting. Okay, very good. And finally, we have Catherine. Okay, hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, yeah, we are here. Okay, <laughs> I don't have a formal presentation because I forgot my computer in my Sister house, but I have a improvised presentation. Okay. Go um, ahead. And mm -hmm. it uh, was a trip to Guatemala. Okay. In my last vacation, I visited Guatemala, Guatemala with for four days with my boyfriend. I arrived to an uncle house. And we visited different places of this beautiful country. I went to Antigua, Guatemala, in Cayala, in Mundo Petata. Petapa. Mm -hmm. Petapa. Yeah. And we really enjoyed the mechanic games. And in this, in this occasion, we forgot to change uh, money. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, in Antigua, Antigua, Guatemala has a bank. And we have the oppor I have the opportunity to felt a uh, jira, and we we ate a uh, different kind of food, and I'm going to visit Guatemala again because I really want to know Panajachel. Only that. Oh yeah, Panajachel is beautiful too. Yeah, I, I really want to to know this this place of Guatemala, and I try to to go. Okay. When the, when the pandemic of. Okay. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because Guatemala is having bad times with the virus. Yeah. So better stay home here in El Salvador. We are, we are a safer place right now than Guatemala and Honduras. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So. It is nice to see you speaking, telling stories. I know sometimes it's difficult, no, but this is the way. So you have to go. The idea is to communicate. The idea is to express what your ideas, no? So we are learning about that. Great. I know the first time is always as flying on a plane, scary, but we can do it, you can do it. Okay, I'm going to take the second attendance and then we're going to see tonight's topic as well. Uh, let's go one more time with Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Brian Javier Carmona. Another absence. Present, present teacher. Ah, too, too late, come on. Uh, you, where do you go? Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Frida Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. Guillermo Antonio Garcia. Uh, Javier Aldair Escobar. Here teacher. 
José Arnoldo Mazariego. Present teacher. José Galileo Barrera. Oh, he had an emergency with his kid. That's, oh, that's terrible. Uh, José Jonathan Vigil. Present. Thank you. Then José Rodrigo Hernández. Present. Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present teacher. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present teacher. María Concepción Cerón. Present teacher. María Ivania Palma. Present teacher. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present teacher. Present. Excuse me. Mayra Veralice Moreno, ok. Mayra. Present. Ok. Ese es yo. Zaira, Zaira Marlene Larín. Present. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present, teacher. Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas. Present. Karen Vanessa Moratalla. Present. Mauricio Antonio Orellana. Present. And Rocío Lourdes Pimentel. Present. Bueno, por si están algunos que no estaban al inicio, recordarles que esta semana tenemos la encuesta de satisfacción, pero que la hacemos todos juntos el día viernes. ¿Verdad? Aunque les lleguen los enlaces del formulario, no lo hagan por favor. ¿Verdad? Eh, sino que espérense hasta hacerlo todos juntos acá el día viernes para no cometer ningún error y se nos eh, anule esa encuesta. Y por otro lado, recuerden que debemos de, deben de terminar todas las tareas de la unidad 4. Ya deben de estar terminadas para el viernes y el examen final. No, porque ya sábado en la mañana se entregan notas por Quinza Forbes se va de vacaciones. Ok, estamos con eso. Bien. Tonight we are going to have this in the book. Where is it? Well, let me share the screen. Um, to do. Let me close this. Close it. Ok. Where is the book? Here it is. Okay. Financial activities. So we are going to talk a little bit about financial activities that your company or someone else's has. All right. Financial activities. And at the beginning, we have this short vocabulary about four um definitions about financial uh statements okay and their definitions let's take a look to this vocabulary okay okay so what is cash flow what is uh income statements, what is equity statement, and what is a balance sheet, a balance sheet. I don't know, I have here some accountants, right? So they must be better than me to understand and to explain these uh, expressions or this vocabulary this financial vocabulary, okay? But here we have the definitions, but they are not in order. They are not in order. Uh, let me read them first, and then I'm going to ask you if you can match the definition with the concept, okay? The first definition says, reports on the changes in retained earnings of a company during the stated period. Number two, reports a company's assets, liabilities, and owner's quality at a given point in time. 
three, reports on a company's incoming and outcoming of cash, its operating, investing, and financing activities. And four, summarizes a company's income, expenses, and profits over a period of time. Hmm. Okay, so which one? What is what? That is the question. Okay, is okay. Hola. Equity, equity statement. Equity. Equity statement. Equity statement, yes. Yeah. Yeah. The first one. Yes. Let me, okay. Aquí tenemos the experts in finances. Nos dicen que number one is C. Equity statements. Okay. What is number two? Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Oh, you're right. Let me write here. Perfect. What is number three? Income statement. Yeah, correct. I know because I have the answers in my book, but <laughs> not because I am an expert in finances. No, I, I work, I work uh, with uh, financial statements. Ah, you know. Yes, you're right. So you know this very well. And of course, number four must be A. Yeah. Okay, good. I don't know if this vocabulary is clear for you. What are we going to do? Okay, here. Any question with this vocabulary? What is cash flow? Okay, let's see. I think Jonathan was speaking, right? How would you translate cash flow, Jonathan? Translate cash flow. Uh huh. What mean cash flow or what is the what is cash flow? Yeah, cash flow in Spanish. How would you say cash flow? Flujo de flujo de de efectivo. Flujo de efectivo, correcto. Now, vamos a ponerlo acá para. Flujo de efectivo. Cash flow. Okay, so every time you see the word cash, that means money, bills, coins. Okay? Cash. Es efectivo, ¿verdad? How are you going to pay with credit card, debit card, or cash? We say cash. Cash. Uh, that is weird now in the United States, in Canada. They don't like to get uh, their payments in cash. No, imagine, I told you, I went to Canada in 2014, and by that time, they didn't like to receive cash. Uh, ya no le gusta recibir cash en los negocios. Everything is plastic. Plastic means credit cards, debit cards. Okay. I remember when I was in the in the airport in Toronto, I bought a soda and I tried to pay with a one dollar coin. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't know what is that. They, they don't accept monedas de dólar. <laughs> Todas nos las mandaron aquí para el Salvador. Allá no saben qué es eso ni las quieren ver. Okay, cash. What is income statements? 
Estado de ingresos o conocido como profesionales también. Estado de ingresos. Yeah. Every time you hear the word income, es lo que ingresa. ¿Verdad? Cuando te digan, what is your income? ¿Cuántos son tus ingresos? ¿Verdad? ¿Cuál es tu ingreso? ¿No? Eso es lo que ustedes habrán oído algún pariente que en Estados Unidos que ya se les olvida el español y vienen y dicen, oh, el income tax. ¿Verdad? No. De aquellos que ya no pueden decir chuco, que ya no saben qué es el chuco, ¿verdad? Que, eh, pero el meneadito no se les olvida y dicen el income tax. Bueno, es eso, el impuesto sobre los ingresos, lo que sería aquí. Estado de resultados también se, re, se conoce acá en El Salvador. Estado de resultados. Eh, sí, el, el, hablando ya de la empresa, ¿verdad? Sí. Los resultados. Statements. Esos statements es eso, siempre, ¿no? Estado. My statement account. Cuando usted diga statement account, es el estado de cuenta. Su estado de cuenta, ¿verdad? I need my statements. Son mis estados. Ok. Y ese es el, el famoso, bueno, no sé, sabrán, se habrán oído a los gringos cuando hablan del IRS. El IRS es el que, el que les cuenta las costillas a los gringos, ¿verdad? Um, los impuestos de ingresos. Ok, very good. What is the meaning of equity statement? El estado del capital. Estado de capital. Yo así lo, lo, lo tengo entendido. A ver. What do you, what do you say? Uh, veamos, a, veamos. Estoy haciendo como el estado de cambios en el patrimonio. Wow, si no, si aquí tenemos a los expertos financieros. Estado. Oh, espérame, espérame, no escribe. Pregunta a Laura. ¿A quién? A Laura. A Laura. Laura no está. Laura, ¿cómo dijo? ¿Qué dijo eh, eh, Frida? ¿Dijo algo? No, teacher, me equivoqué. Ah, bueno. No problem. Nobody's perfect. Vaya. Y eh, la última, balance sheet. General. Balance. But what is sheet? Es hoja. Hoja de balance. Ah, hoja de balance, pero conocido como balance general en español. Ah, ok. Es esta cosa. Right. Right. What's going on? It's not typing. Mm, okay. Balance. Let me check something here. Bueno, ustedes que están mucho en finanzas estarán más claros de esto. Any question, people? Okay, well, this is just vocabulary, okay? This is just vocabulary. Let's go back. I need to move, so I need to erase this. Well, there are some ideas here. What do you think? 
Veamos estas ideas que dice. It is not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes of a, a, um, an outcomes a company has. And what do you think? Is this true or false? Hey, que se me hizo. ¿Qué dirían? Veamos esto como verdadero y falso. It is not so important. It is not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. ¿Qué creen ustedes? ¿Cierto o falso? False. 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 Completely, ¿verdad? Yes. Entonces, ¿qué les dije que era incomes? Ingresos. 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 Entonces, ¿qué sería outcomes? Egresos. Egresos, ¿verdad? Exacto. Aquí tenemos otra frase. Last year, a company's owner fired many people. The owner carried such actions to save the company. Mm -hmm. What is fired? Despedir. Despedir, Despedir. ¿verdad? Despidió. Last year, a company's owner fired many people. The owner carried such actions to save the company. Necesitaba salvar a la compañía. Para salvar a la compañía, el propietario hizo tales acciones. And number three, it is mandatory for everybody to check on his or her profits to see how much can be invested or spent. Yes. What is profits? Anybody knows what is profits? The ganancias. Las ganancias, exacto. Las ganancias, profits. Ya, yeah. ganancias. Entonces es necesario saber si hay ganancias para ver how much can be invested, cuánto se puede invertir o gastar, cuánto puede ser invertido o gastado. Ok, well, let's move on on this. Because tonight we are going to learn how to use these two expressions, so and such, so and such. Let's see these examples and then I'm going to show you something else. Uh, it is so necessary for the company. It is so important to check the reports. The projects were so well made. Our ideas were so imaginative. So, what do you think is the use of so? ¿Para qué sirve el so? Si, su, si quisiéramos, solo para que quede tal vez un, explicarlo o entenderlo. Si lo quisiéramos cambiar por otra palabra que es más común, que más, hemos usado más tal vez. Su. Very. Very. Correcto. Tú. No. Tú, no. Lo pudiéramos cambiar por very. Es para realzar la necesidad de algo. Exactly. Bien podríamos decir, it is very necessary for the company. It is very important to check the reports. The projects were very well made. Our ideas were very imaginative. Okay. Very. But let me show you this. Okay. Um, here. Okay, here it is. So versus such. So versus such. So, como vemos, usamos so plus an adjective. So plus an adjective. So, el so le da énfasis o refuerza el adjetivo que estamos usando para 
a calificar algo, ¿verdad? Jack is so nice. O sea, no solamente es nice, is so nice. Okay? The pizza is so delicious. It's more than delicious, is so delicious. Okay, that is the usage of so. And then let's take a look to the examples for such. It is such a creative program. Pay attention to that. It is such a significant investment. The report was such a useful tool before. The last product was such a big success. Okay, observe these expressions, these phrases. It is such a creative program. It is such a significant investment. It is such, the report was such a useful tool. The last product was such a big success. Okay. Esa frase que, que hemos encerrado ahí con un A al principio, ¿verdad? Es lo que vamos a llamar una noun phrase. Una noun phrase. ¿Qué es un noun? Un nombre. Un nombre, un sustantivo. Pero que en este caso no es una sola palabra, sino una frase que está funcionando como noun, como sustantivo. Ok, veamos los ejemplos. Jack is such a nice guy. Este es un sustantivo, ¿verdad? A nice guy, que es el un tipo chévere, nice. ¿Verdad? This is such delicious pizza. Delicious pizza. ¿Verdad? Aquí perfectamente podríamos añadir el a, ¿Verdad? Pero también lo podemos evitar. This is such delicious pizza or such a delicious pizza It would be okay. ¿Ok? Y mire, y es prácticamente lo mismo con otras Palabras, ¿verdad? Porque si ustedes ven, aquí estamos diciendo Jack is so nice. Y aquí decimos Jack is such a nice guy. Aquí decimos the pizza is so delicious. Y aquí decimos this is a such, uh, this is such a delicious pizza. Ok. Sería como, esa es una pizza tan deliciosa. Pudieras traducirlo así. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Es, es como darle un poco de énfasis a aquello, ¿no? Esa es la idea. Del so and such. Pero observen que el so va antes de un... No, no, no. De un adjective, ¿verdad? El so va antes de un adjective. Y el such va antes de una noun phrase. Eso es lo que hay que observar para saber en los ejercicios que vamos a hacer. Qué es lo que vamos a utilizar, ¿verdad? So, such. I have a question. Um, such, uh, has a question. Have a equal uh, similar como so uh, and very ya yeah, pudiéramos decir que sí o sea son son sinónimos son eh, no tanto como sinónimos porque no los podemos usar indistintamente verdad o sea usted no puede usar so donde debe de usar such me explico entonces no los podemos usar indistintamente eh, pero que ambos sirven para enfatizar lo que darle más fuerza, más energía, más énfasis a lo que estamos diciendo. 
como alguien dijo por ahí, ya que es un tan buen tipo, es una pizza tan deliciosa. ¿Verdad? Entonces le damos más énfasis a, al adjetivo o a la noun phrase que estamos usando. Ok. Ok, well, so, with that said, I have a, an exercise for you to practice this. So, let me raise that. Bueno, déjenme compartirles esa imagen del so and such. Uh, para que la tengan ahí en su WhatsApp. Um, so what's up here must be oopsie it's kind of slow ok ahí va y ahora les voy a poner el ejercicio Vamos a ver algunas cositas más aquí, pero ustedes ya las conocen. There you go. Sí, era una pregunta. Dígame. ¿A quién le tocan los 10 minutos hoy? Uy, ya le digo, por aquí la tengo, la hojita. The ten minutes are for... Today is 26. Ana Lilian. Okay. And tomorrow, Maria Ivania. Wednesday, Concepcion. Thursday, Frida, and Friday, Saira. Okay. Hola. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Se nos acabaron los días. <laughs> Indignante. Oh. No, no. Podemos chatear un día, Karen. Está más de 10 minutos. Ok, sí. No Teacher, problem. Lo Hola. Pasó esta semana que pasó también. Me quedé en vez de Mayra. Ah. Es cierto. Ah, pues Mayra puede cambiar en vez de Concepción. ¿Cuándo sería entonces, dicha? El miércoles. Va. Ya. Ok, people. Bueno, les dejo ahí entonces el ejercicio. Vamos a ver, hagamos juntos una parte. Vamos a ver, vamos a compartir de nuevo. Ok, this one. Choose the right option. Ahí tienen ya las diferentes opciones, ¿verdad? So, so many, so much. Recuerden la diferencia entre many y much, ¿verdad? Eso ya lo vimos. Entonces, the first one. Dice, I've been to Paris. Vamos a ir. Tenemos suficientes para ir uno por uno. Voy a comenzar preguntándole, quiero ver, rapidito. ¿Entienden la cámara apagada? Ah, Ivania y Karen. No, y Karen en dos, en dos sesiones está Karen. Karen, ah, te tengo. Sí. Ah. Es que en una poco no me conecté para compartirles, ya no me sale. Ah, vaya. 
<ríe> ya Nada, me Ivania, estaba apagada, le toca, empezamos con Ivania. Voy a activar el audio. <ríe> Ok, ok. Ivania, number one. La comparto de nuevo. ¿Qué sería Ivania? I've been to Paris so many times or so much times. Uh, so, so many. No, aquí están las opciones, ¿eh? Ah, I've been to Paris so many times or so much times? So much times. So much times. ¿Qué dice el público? It's so many, teacher. Ah, ¿por qué it's so many y no so much? Por time is countable. It's countable. Ah, ah, because times is countable. Is plural. So many times. Very good. Very good. Now, okay, Ivania. Desquíteselas con alguien, por favor. Um. Quiero <laughs> <laughs> ver. Rapidito con el que le cae peor. No, este, con Jonathan. Mm. Porque no estaba volviendo a ver. Por distraído, está bueno, está bueno. Está bueno, está bueno. A ver, Jonathan dice. Uh, he got really drunk at the party last night and behaved like Such idiot such or such an idiot? Such an idiot. Yes. Such an, an idiot. Such an idiot. Terrible. Very good. Okay, Jonathan. Okay, uh, Mayra. <laughs> <laughs> Mayra. They use. La de okay. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Maya, dice es Mayra. Dice Mayra. Uy. Me lo chocó ahorita ya. They use. <laughs> they used to have. Aquí hay que escoger so much or so many. They used to have so much fun together or so many fun together. So many. So many. Quiero ver, no, espérese, espérese. Vaya, pues, espérese del verbo esperar. <laughs> so much fun or so many fun? No, aquí no so much. Ya te pasaron una copia ahí por WhatsApp. ¿no? So much. <risa> está bueno, está bueno. Se vale, todo se vale en la guerra y en el amor. They used to Eso. have so, so much fun together. Yes. Ah, so much because fun is uncountable. Remember that. Ok, pass the ball, Mayra. María Concepción. Ok. Vaya Concepción, mire, porque le cedió el puesto para la sesión privada, mira. Sí, eso es lo que, lo que se ganó. Okay. <risa> The bar was really packed, packed last night. There were uh, so much people there. So much people there. ¿Qué dice el público? So many. So, so many. many people there. Ah, why? Because it's countable. It's countable. Yes, countable. countable. And it's plural. Yeah, remember that uncountable nouns don't have plural. 
¿Ya? Las cosas no contables no tienen plural. Ok. So many people. People is a plural word. Ya. What is the singular of people? Person. One person. Correct. Person. One person. Two people. So people is plural. So many people there. Perfect. Okay, Concepcion, who's next? Arnoldo. Arnold. A ver, por estar ayudando. The guitar player was so good. So good. ¿Por qué so good and not such a good? Uh, maybe, no maybe, sino que is. So good is a, is an adjective. Yes, good is an adjective. Good is an adjective. Correct. Okay, next. Pass the ball, Arnold. Karen. Okay, Karen. Hi, por <laughs> So much students or so many students? So many students. Ok. ¿Qué dice el público? Es correcto. Plural. Yeah. Students is plural. And many. Yeah, we use many because it's countable. Number seven. Ok, Karen, pass the ball. Uh, Javier. Javier. Are you awake, Javier? Sí, teacher, quiero ver. So many years or so much years? I can't believe you live there for so much year. No, so, so many year. So many years, ¿qué dice el público? Correct? Okay, yes. Number eight, pass the ball, Javier. Um, Dinora. Dinora, number eight. That is so good idea or such a good idea? Dinora, are you there? Dinora is gone. Somebody else, Javier? Dinora left um, the building. Mauricio. Ma, what, what Mauricio? We have two Mauricios. Rivera Mauricio and, the two of them are Mauricio Antonio. Rivera or Orellana? Chale, Orellana. Orellana. Okay, Orellana. That is so good or such a good idea? Such a good idea. Such a good idea. Okay, is el público? Yes. A good idea. Okay. Why? Yeah, because we have a noun idea. Okay, very good. Now here, complete the sentences with so, such, such a, such an, so much, so many. It's a little bit more difficult. Okay. Teacher, Hola. Eh, ¿Me puede volver a aclarar para cuándo usar so y cuándo usar such? Ok. No problem. Thank you. Bien, voy a regresar. Oh, pero igual tengo que borrar todo. No, entonces, no, ya. ¿Por qué se va? Ah, ¿Por qué se va? Bueno, luego le... 
Esto sí. ya lo tienen, ¿verdad? Porque lo tengo que quitar para regresar acá en anterior. Ahí está. Ups, me pasé. Ok. We use so with adjectives. Sí. This. We use so with adjectives. Ok. So nice, so delicious. And such with a noun phrase. A noun phrase. Que puede haber un adjetivo. ¿Verdad? Ahí. Porque, por ejemplo, tenemos a nice, tenemos delicious, que son adjetivos, pero se nos da también acá, junto con el adjetivo, el sustantivo. ¿Verdad? Delicious pizza, nice guy. A diferencia que acá... Si usted observa, el adjetivo, perdón, el sustantivo va antes. ¿Ve? The pizza is so delicious. Jack is so nice. Y aquí eh, también está, pero tenemos acá un adjetivo, pero con un sustantivo. Entonces, esto es lo que se conoce como una noun phrase. Una frase que está, la frase entera está funcionando como un sustantivo. Entonces, ahí vamos a usar such. Y cuando solo es para reforzar el adjetivo, usamos nice. Básicamente, okay. esa, es, esa es la explicación. ¿Ya? Yep. Entonces, estamos ahí. What time is it? Ooh, it's five to ten. Bueno. Como ahí tienen ya, les dejaría eh, el resto para que lo hagan ustedes. Siempre usando ya sea so, such, such a, such an. Recuerden que la diferencia de usar a o an, ¿cuál es? A ver, ¿quién me puede decir? ¿En qué caso okay, vamos inicia, a usar? Inicia. ¿Con qué inicia? Si inicia con consonante, eh, A. Y si ah. inicia con vocal, AN. Excelente. Okay. Yes, that's right. ¿Verdad? Y, yo, y también no se utiliza cuando es plural. No hay diferencia cuando hay plural y singular. A y AN. No. No. no, porque A y AN solo es para singular, porque está diciendo uno. Una. Una. Ajá. Ok. Y acá, como ya lo vimos, el much y el many, ¿verdad? Que tiene que ver con countable o non-countable. ¿Verdad? Que lo podemos usar. Ok, trabajan en esto ustedes luego eh, y mañana lo revisamos. ¿Verdad? Y bueno, les voy a poner la otra parte también que dice rewrite these sentences. It was such a good movie that I saw it five times. The movie was so good. Podríamos decir. Teacher, uh, antes de, de retirarnos, oh, no sé. Ok. En... Estaba, estaba comenzando a revisar la tarea de hoy y me parece como si, como que si estuviera repetido, pero como que si no coincidiera, pero no estoy segura. En la, como si es la, como que si la, fuera la misma respuesta en la 3 y la 4 y se supone que no. Porque da mala si uno la pone como supuestamente correcta. Oh, sí. Uh -huh. No sé si estaré. Sí, yo lo estaré haciendo mal, pero así está. Bueno, si quiere, después de la clase yo lo reviso y les escribo ahí cualquier comentario en el WhatsApp. Bueno. ¿Verdad? 
en la tarea de hoy, ¿verdad? Vale, perfecto. Entonces, vamos con la última asistencia. Ahí les dejo ya después de la otra. No, no se las he puesto. A lo mejor lo otro lo hacemos mañana acá juntos. Solo esas que les quedan ahí pendientes. Sí, ma. Ok, let's see. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Muy bien. ¿Y con quién me quedaba hoy? Ya se me olvidó. Conmigo. Ana Lilian. <ríe> Ana Lilian, ok. Yes. Uh, perfecto. Brian Javier Carmona. Are you there? Este Brian, solo la máquina encendido hoy se va. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. Present teacher. Okay, thank you for attending. See you tomorrow. Bye. Frida Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you for teacher, attending. Uh, tomorrow I will not be at class because uh, I have to be a jury in activity of the work in Santana. Tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. Ah, okay. Okay, I hope you will be on time. I hope, I hope. If the QD is the uh, 7, 7 p.m. Ah. 11 p.m. Happy holiday. Is, is... <laughs> y, eh, hacen una actividad todos los años, entonces todos los años me ponen de jurado a mí. Entonces... Oh, really? Yes. Oh, what kind of activity is a contest? Is a contest uh, Miss Chiquitita is the daughters or the of employees. Oh, okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, so we're gonna miss you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye, Fr Frida. Uh, who else? Guillermo Antonio didn't show up today. Um, Javier Aldair Escobar. Ok, good night. José Arnoldo Mazariego. I'm here. Good night. Ok, good night. See you. José Galileo Barrera, had to leave. Eh, José Jonathan Vigil. Present. Good night. Eh, good night. José Rodrigo Hernández. Present. Ok, Rodrigo, see you tomorrow. Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present. Thank you for attending. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present teacher. Okay, Laura. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Maria Concepcion Ceron. Present teacher. Okay. See you tomorrow. See Maria tomorrow. Ivania Palma. Present teacher. Thank you for attending. Have a good night. Good night. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Mauricio. See you tomorrow. Mayra Veralice Moreno. Present teacher. Okay, Mayra. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Eh, Zaira Marlene Hilarín. Present. Thank you, Zaira. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Okay, Wendy. Have a good night. Thank you. Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas. Present. Ok. Good night. Thank you for attending. Good night. Karen Vanessa Moratalla. Present. Good night, Karen. See you tomorrow. Good night. Mauricio Antonio Orellana. Present. Thank you for attending. See you tomorrow. And Rocío Lourdes Pimentel. Present. Ok, Rocío. Thank you for attending. Have a good night. Night. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, Ana Lilian. A ver. Eh. Dígame, ¿qué quiere que reforcemos o que repasemos? Y lo que acabamos de estar viendo, porque no me quedó bien claro cuándo es. So o oh, so many es de la okay. actividad. Vaya. Uh, vamos a compartir. Okay. 
Vale. Eh, estos, esta parte sí le quedó clara. Sí, que so va antes del adjetivo. Ajá. Vale. Entonces, el problema era con el many y el much. Ajá, eso que okay. cuando son así ejercicios, no sé cómo, cómo ubicarlos porque siempre me confundo. Bueno, no hay problema. Vaya, re, recuerda. Por, por, cuando, dígame. Por ejemplo, ahí en, en el que nos quedó nosotros, en la parte 2. Ajá. Ah, dígame si estoy en lo correcto. Yo diría que Jessica is. Ajá. Para mí sería so many. No, no. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué no vamos a usar so? Porque aquí nos dice, le tiene que ver lo que sigue después. Y aquí dice brilliant woman. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Eso es un adjetivo o es, un, o es una frase que está funcionando como sustantivo, como algo? O alguien en este caso. Uh, sería Jessica es una mujer brillante, debe ser. Ajá. No sé si es un sustantivo o es un nombre. Es una sí. frase que hace las veces de un, de un sustantivo, ¿verdad? Entonces no vamos a usar so. ¿Ya? Sino que such. Such. ¿Y qué significado tiene such? Such en español. Such es simplemente como algo que le da, le aumenta, ¿verdad? A lo que, a lo que sigue. Uh, Entonces, si lo tradujéramos, queda. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, aquí en este caso tendría que ser such a. Jessica is such a brilliant woman that everyone admires her. Jessica es una mujer tan brillante. Entonces ese such, si usted lo quiere traducir, sería como un tan. Pero no, no exclusivamente tan, ¿verdad? No en todas las veces que usted vea such va a ser tan, porque puede ser tanto. Y como explico? diferencia es cuando es tanto y cuando es tan. <risa> en inglés es lo mismo. En inglés es lo mismo. A la hora de traducirlo, a la hora de traducirlo, usted va a ver que le hace más sentido. Ok. Y lo que pega más con la oración. Claro. Recuerde que el español es más expresivo. Okay. ¿Verdad? Entonces aquí sería Jessica is such a brilliant woman. ¿Por qué such? Porque esto es un una frase, porque es, bueno, se dice frase porque son dos palabras, ¿verdad? No es solo una palabra. Okay. Una mujer brillante. Entonces estamos hablando de eso. Mujer brillante. Pero para darle más. ¿no? Porque usted pudiera decir, Jessica es una mujer brillante. Pero no. Que le da más énfasis, le dice, es una mujer tan brillante. ¿Verdad? Okay. Porque eh, si usted lo quiere traducir en, al pie de la letra, diría Jessica es una tan brillante mujer. 
pero no sé, no lo decimos siempre así, aunque está bien dicho. Esa es la manera correcta. No, 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 no necesariamente correcto, o sea, usted sabe que en español las cosas pueden decirse de una forma y de otra, ¿no? Una mujer tan brillante, una tan brillante mujer, ambas son correctas. Eh, por ejemplo... Y dijimos que íbamos a usar a o an. Esto recuerda dependiendo si lo que sigue es con consonante o con vocal. Correcto. ¿Verdad? Sí. Y usamos much, so much, or so many. Much con uncountable nouns. Y many con countable nouns. Cosas que no se pueden contar y cosas que se pueden contar. Much, no contable, many, contable. Recuerde que many, la mayoría de veces, lo que, de lo que está hablando está en plural. Ok. So much, no contable. So many contable. Exacto. Okay. Uh, um, entonces, uh, para la siguiente oración, sería correcto decir so, so, uh, so, mm. en. No. no hay ningún so a ah, ni so an, mire. So, so such, such, such a, such an. S so, such an. Ah, ok. Such an. A ver, so, dígame por qué. Porque la oración después de Tei de Maiden continúa con una vocal y no una consonante. Ah, esa es una razón para usar el an. Uh -huh. ¿Y por qué such? So. Y no so. Ajá. Ay, sí, no me acuerdo ya. ¿Por qué? ¿De qué estamos hablando? De un unforgivable mistake, un error imperdonable. De nuevo, es una frase. Es un sustantivo en forma de frase. No es solo el adjetivo. Si solo es un adjetivo, vamos a usar so. So, so much, so many. Si, so, si lo que sigue es solo un adjetivo. ¿Verdad? Solo vamos a usar so, so much, or so many. Si lo que sigue es una frase... ¿Verdad? Que funciona como sustantivo, como nombre. Vamos a usar such, such a o such an. Por ejemplo, la siguiente. Shy. ¿Qué es esto? No es un sustantivo. Shy significa tímido, tímida. ¿Ya? Yes. Yes. Sería también una frase. ¿Cuántas palabras hay ahí en eso que le he encerrado? 
Eso no es un nombre, no, es un, no hay ningún nombre, no hay ningún sustantivo ahí. Fíjense. Solo aquí hay, hay una palabra. Entonces. Que es tímido. ¿Qué es tímido? ¿Es un sustantivo o es un adjetivo? ¿Es un nombre de algo o es una cualidad de algo o de alguien? Una cualidad. Una cualidad. Cualidades son adjetivos. ¿Verdad? Yes. Entonces, vamos a usar so o such. So. So, correcto. Solo so o so many o so much. No hay otra cosa ahí. Solo un adjetivo. Entonces usamos solo so. She is so shy. Ella es tan tímida. Punto. Podemos dejarlo así. La clave es, ¿es adjetivo lo que sigue o es un nombre? ¿Verdad? Si es un adjetivo, so. Si es un nombre, such. Primero. Ya después vemos que si es vocal, que si no es vocal, que si es countable o uncountable. Pero usted lo primero que lo tiene primero que identificar es si es adjetivo o nombre. Para decidir si va a usar so o such. Y luego podemos ver lo demás. Por ejemplo, aquí the teacher was y aquí dice tired. Tired es adjetivo o nombre. Tired significa cansado. Adjetivo. Adjetivo. Entonces vamos a usar so. So. Si quiere despreocúpese un poco del a o el an o el much o el many. Ahora okay. quedémonos con el so y el such. Punto. Okay. Esos zapatos son expensive. ¿Qué sería? A expensive, ¿qué es expensive? Caro. ¿Es adjetivo o es nombre? Adjetivo. Ok, entonces vamos a usar so o such. So. So, correcto. Acá. Great. Pero great no está solo porque tenemos que decir. ¿Verdad? Great memories. Esto es una frase a sustantivo. Memories. Si usted se fija de aquí después de shy, no hay ningún na, nombre sustantivo ni nada. Después de tired, no hay nombres ni nada. ¿eh? Después de expensive, tampoco. Pero aquí, después de great... Hay un nombre, memorias, recuerdos. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a usar? So o such? Such. Such, ok. Pudiéramos dejarlo such great memories. Estaría bien. Y no podemos usar a 
o an porque está en plural. Great memories. Grandes recuerdos. Y recuerde que a o an significa uno o una. Entonces por eso no, no podemos usar a o an. Sino que solamente such. ¿Ya? Ya. Yeah. Ahora sí. Ya lo entendí un poco mejor. Vale. Mm, Practique con el resto y mañana revisamos. Ok, teacher. Perfecto, Ana Lilian. Hey, where did you go? Ya se fue. <risa> se apagó. Aquí estoy. Ah, vaya, ahí está. Vaya pues Ana Lilian, have a good night and see good you night, tomorrow, okay? You. Bye bye. Thank you, bye bye.